our attitude towards others. It is imperative that we hold dear to our commitment to take the whole Bible as the Word of God and stand as the Church of God of the Bible, embrace a true and genuine spirit and attitude towards others. We have no right or reason to have to think highly of ourselves in such a prideful way when it comes to understanding some of the revealed truths of God's Word. What is happening today in the Church of God of the Bible is not man-made. It is a divine move of God taking place all over the world. We have no right to be arrogant. In truth, God soundly condemns arrogance and pride, and He will not fail to punish those who allow it to develop in their hearts and be displayed in their attitudes and actions towards others. Rather, we have a solemn obligation to show a Christ-like spirit towards every individual without exception. Many of us have friends, loved ones, and acquaintances in other churches and religious organizations who have yet come to the Church of God of the Bible. Many of them may never come if we fail to display the love and attitude of Christ. We have no other choice. If we fail in this regard, we could lose out with God and be lost. We must show love and patience. We must not return an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. There must be no spirit of revenge in us. True, unfinged love must prevail because that is the hallmark of Christ and His church. Even the most difficult problems must be resolved in Christian love and gentleness. Our arms and hearts must be open to all who desire to know and embrace the truth. We still believe that the one full concept is the plan and will of God, and that in the final analysis, all true sheep will be in the fold. Since that is a Bible teaching, we must think and act in that context, and do everything in the wisdom and power of God working in us to bring it about. God bless you.